Hello everybody, Trina here with Trina Killick Designs where I teach other creative ladies how to cut and paint their own wooden door hangers and teach them how to sell them. Um, tonight I'm going to be painting with y'all that skeleton. If you caught my live today cutting this, you're probably going to really enjoy seeing it come to life with paint. So, let me get comfortable. Or let me get take off my rose. So I will look halfway decent. Let the ball feel after sweating outside, cutting like crazy. I was about to burn up in their cut. And Lord have mercy, it was so hot. Um, let me get y'all pulled up so I can make sure everything's looking good. As you come on, tell me hello, tell me where you're from, and tell me if you are a painter. Have you ever painted a door hanger before? Let me know, let me know. And don't forget to hit that little button down below and sprinkle me across the Facebook world. Um, so I think I'm going to go pretty simple. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Grace. Pretty simple with this design, but we are going to add some glitter. I'm going to show you how to use a template after you get it cut out. By using some graphite paper so if you're new and you've never not like never done a door hanger and you wonder like how in the world does some of those people draw those designs there is a way to cheat y'all and we all do it we all cheat or most of us anyway so if you did not catch me today I cut out this cute cute skeleton y'all and it's pieces of a skeleton. It's going to be, well, I said a little, but this is going to be, like, kind of big. Hey, Jerry. You painted five things last week? Oh, wow, Jerry, you're on a roll, girl. Are you doing fall? Or you already got jumped on to Christmas? Um, so here's the head. Here's the body. And I did go ahead and put me some little holes in each um body part bone part i don't know what you call it and what i'm gonna do y'all it's gonna be so cool i'm not gonna be able to do it tonight because i don't have the correct stuff to do it with um but i'm gonna use some kind of screws and little nuts and i'm going to attach it on here so i can eh, 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 like make everything move um we got the little legs so we just got all the body parts of a skeleton Joint parts. There you go, Miss Terry. Hello, sweet lady. I have painted in one art contest, but not door hangers. Regina. Well, then, girlfriend, you've got to get your hands on some door hangers. You would absolutely love it. I'm serious. You would love doing door hangers. And, yeah, I'm rocking the, the messy bun tonight, y'all, because my head's nappy. It's dirty, and... I'm just trying to roll with it. Got to roll with it. So, we're going to kind of do this the easy way. We're going to use my sponge. Hey, Christine, how are you? You did three fall challenges, a back to school for grandson, and a fall leaf for my sister. Ooh. I bet, they, I bet they're pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Give me a plate. Let me get me a sponge. If you've never used a sponge before when you're doing base coats, it is so much faster than a paintbrush. And smooth. Smooth, smooth. So I'm going to scoot y'all down. We're going to start off with just putting a base coat on there. Jesse! Hey, girl. I got this, Miss Patricia. I hope so. <laughs> I sure hope so. Yes, Regina, you gotta at least try it. Just one time, I'm spitting everywhere. Every time I come live, I don't know if it's my nerves or what, but I don't do that when I'm just like talking to people in person because Lord knows if I did, they would probably run away from you, run away from me. But every time I come live, it's like it's spitting. Uh, Jennifer, it is $37 a month. Um, so Jennifer asked what, um, how much does it cost to join? She's talking about my Inside Scoop. And my Inside Scoop is a membership group that I have. Let me tell y'all one thing real quick. 
So I'm just going to put my paint on my sponge and then I'm going to go in with this. I like to put my two little fingers on top and that's what I'll put pressure on to get my paint to really like stick onto my wood. Um, so my inside scoop is a pay and subscription group. Uh, I say a group y'all, we call it a group, but it's a community. It is a paying monthly community for creative ladies who is, um, want to start a new journey wants to learn how to do different things and create beautiful door hangers, learning different painting techniques. Um, it's a group where you create friendships, really, it really is. And you learn business tips and tricks. You learn how to start an Etsy page or Etsy shop. You learn how to start a, a Facebook business page. And you're probably thinking, well, I don't really want to do this as a business. And that's totally fine, too, because you don't have to do it as a business. You can be part of the community with us and just paint and just have people that you can ask questions to. And be like, hey, girlfriend, I need your opinion on this. And we will be honest and try our best to help you out the best that we can. And I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. But what you do get each month is two printable templates. I, I feel like I just need to go to the community before I say anything because in reality, that's the best part really is the, the ladies that's in there. They're just truly amazing. The scoop is incredibly amazing. I've made so many new friends. Jesse, thank you. Miss Mary says the inside scoop is amazing. Thank you, Miss Mary. Uh, Grace, it's like a crafty group of friends. There you go. It's like we're crafting every every month together. That will help you as much as you need. Can you tell me again what sewing blades you use? Yes, ma'am. Miss Terry, I use my Dewalt jigsaw. And we're going to put that to the side. We're going to start on the next piece. And my blades are the Bosch. And they're the scroll cut for wood and 20 TPI and T-shape. That is the whole thing with blades, y'all. You don't want to get U-shape blades. Um, if you're using U-shape blades, please, please do me a favor. Go buy you a pack of T-shape blades. And just try them out. Just try them out. Y'all, makes a huge difference with your cutting, with the, um, the splinters and stuff that you have when you're cutting. So, please just, just try them out for me one more time. And if you don't like them, you don't like them. But I just don't see you not liking them. How do you join the group? Miss Sandy, you can click the link in the description of this live video. And it'll take you to my website. And once you get on there, um, scroll down just a little bit. And you'll see two little buttons that says subscribe. It is You have one option that's $37 a month. Then I also just um, started doing the yearly option. And when you do the yearly option, it is $370. But you do get two months free when you do the option. So it doesn't take a special saw, just a jigsaw. Miss Terry, that's what I have been using for the past eight years, is just a jigsaw. I do love my Dewalt. Um, some people, you know, some people it's too heavy for. But um, <clears throat> I don't like a light um, jigsaw. I feel like a light jigsaw, um, allows my wood to kind of bounce a little bit too much. But uh, any jigsaw would work as long as it will take the T-shaped blades. I would not even buy a jigsaw that would not carry, that you couldn't use the T-shaped blades in. Nope, nope, nope. 
you will spend a whole lot more time on sanding if you get one that only takes the U shape. And if you've never tried the T-shanks and you have the U-shanks, please go try the T-shanks. And when you get them, I want you to, to hold them up side by side. And when you do that, you will see that with these T-shank blades, the actual teeth on the blade, they're lined up differently. And I think that's why they cut a whole lot smoother. But with these blades, with the T-shank, your blades, like the teeth, they're not just like jig, 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 jig. They're not side by side. Um, they're actually kind of behind and in front of each other. So they're, they go like this, but one like goes here, then behind. Then in front, behind, in front, behind. And it does that all the way down. And I think that's what makes the, um, the cuts a lot smoother. So yeah. Inside the group, though, we also do a craft each each month because sometimes, y'all, it feels like we get so... Um, when I was doing door hangers, and that was like my main focus, that's the only thing that I did, I would get a little bit, like, burnt out. So I was like, you know what? What is something that I can do in this group that's different than any other group and, you know, that could actually be fun, but we would still paint or, you know, use different saws to kind of just get experience with and a craft popped in my head. And I was like, you know what? That's, what, that's what's going to make me different than any of these other groups is I'm going to have a craft that we're going to do each month to just give us a day on time, to give us a time that we're gonna actually just not be stressed over door hangers. And we're gonna get to have fun with not only using a jigsaw, but a table saw and, you know, just different kind of tools, drills and, you know, sometimes it don't even take nothing. Sometimes it's just us buying pumpkins to make a topiary and paint them. Um, but it's just, it's so fun. And sometimes the craft is my main, like, it's my most, like, favorite thing in the world or favorite thing for that month that we're doing. Of course, I forgot to plug my phone with y'all. Y'all give me just a second. Let me get that off and let me plug the phone up. So, um, for the month of September, we're going to, which I shared a calendar in the, on my page, y'all, if y'all want to check it out, of what, we, what we're doing for September. It don't like show you an actual picture or nothing, but it shows you what our schedule's like. And we're doing this really cute turkey that's holding a football, and we have an amazing guest that's going to be with us in September and she's going to teach us a truck design with a Christmas tree in the back. Yes, I said Christmas tree because if you're a maker and you're selling, you want to go ahead and be on top of the holidays, y'all, especially during fourth quarter. Fourth quarter is the most busiest time for makers. This is where you got to have your game on and you got to be prepared and you want to try to be one of the first people to actually get your new designs out there. So, oh yay Kim. I got paint all in my hands. Uh, I watched a few different ladies and Miss Trina you are, whoop. I lost your girlfriend. Uh, Miss Trina you are the most sweetest encouraging lady on here and you really explain well to us what you're doing. So, oh you're welcome Miss Regina. T Shank, Miss Terry, S H A N K. So yeah, T Shank. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Uh, how big is the How big would the skeleton be, Miss Sarah? I don't quite know yet. 
I don't know. This will be my first time making it. But when I was holding, a, holding it up earlier, it's probably going to be about as tall as I am. And I'm like 5'6", maybe 5'7". So, yeah. This is going to be one of my decorations for Halloween. Because I do Halloween and I do fall. Um, but I always, I always do Halloween too. Not just a cutesy Halloween, y'all. I really like the spooky, scary Halloween. Um, so this is going to be one of my Halloween decorations for this year. Not quite sure where I'm going to put it. But it will be somewhere at my house. All right. Using the sponge is so much easier too to get your edges when you're doing it a solid color. The only thing is it does kind of make the back a little bit messy. Um, but I was always one of those to, um, to paint my backs whenever I sold my door hangers. I always painted my backs. That was just my thing. I love painting the backs. So, thanks so much for your challenge. I posted my scarecrow. You are an awesome teacher. Oh, yay, Amanda. I have to go check it out. I'm so glad that you've enjoyed it. Have you joined the Inside Scoop or you, you hadn't? Because if you hadn't, girl, and you enjoyed that challenge, you need to get your booty over there in the Inside Scoop. Because there's a lot more where that came from. And I would love to be able to teach you even more. I come up with good ideas and I draw it out on paper. But I don't know how to do the next step with the wood. Jamie, we use, um, there's an app for iPads. That's called Procreate. If you draw it out on paper... Um, the Procreate app, it's not free though, it's $9.99 a month, but it's totally worth it if you want to do, make your own templates. Um, but if you draw your own out on paper, you can take a picture of it and then use that Procreate app to trace your picture and get just the, like just the black outline of it to give you a template. Save that that um, picture as a JPEG and then you can use the outline of that picture in block poster and block poster is how we get them sized um, and you can all you can play around in block poster to to get different sizes and make them big or little however you want it but that would be a good way for you to actually get your work into a door hanger template to be able to draw it on your wood but if you draw them out yourself you could probably just draw it out on your wood and then just cut around the outline of it there's all something up in there flying around so yeah when is the last day to say amanda tonight is it girlfriend tonight i don't want to pressure anybody but because I will be opening back up the end of September. So, because I know sometimes people, you know, finances just getting right. Um, but the thing is, is in September, that will be my last opening for 2020 to the public. I will no longer be opening it back up to the public on my Facebook here um, until 2021. And that even sounds so funny to say. Hey, Miss Patricia, I've got an itch. Yes, um, Miss Deborah, you're correct. It is $9.99. I'm pretty sure, too. I said this was going to be pretty quick, y'all, but I don't know. There's a lot of pieces here. A lot of pieces. It's taking a lot of paint, too. Whereas they're not like itty bitty tiny pieces, they're good sized pieces. But I'm not, I don't only just teach my ladies in there how to 
paint and cut and um, do door hangers. I mean, I teach them so many things, y'all, when it comes to the business part. And since I've been trying to grow my business, I have joined, like, different groups, and I've been, like, I've become part of accountability groups. And, y'all, those things, they really do help you, and they motivate you, and they make you, like, really want to do the things to grow your business and to be, you know, successful in what you're trying to do. So, <coughs> I actually created some accountability groups for inside of my group to where the ladies in there, they have their own little accountability groups and they meet up on Zoom. Um, some of them, they started out meeting, you know, once a month, I mean every week, and now some, some of them meeting, you know, once every other week. But they are meeting and they're like setting goals. And then everybody in their accountability group, you know, when they meet again, they kind of ask, you know, did you, did you, do your, did you meet your goals, or, you know, what did you struggle with, and stuff like that. And it it really helps out so much. Um, it helped out with me, with me, with my business. And when I talk to the ladies and ask them, you know, if they're enjoying the accountability groups. You know, they're like, yes, that, that is really helping them. So you don't, I mean, you really don't, you don't just get poor little Trina here. You get so much more um, guidance and stuff from, from all the ladies that's in the group. So if y'all have any more questions, I've been trying to cover everything. Hey, Miss Wendy from Montana, have you tried makeup sponges? What's your preference? Um, I have not. I've tried makeup sponges with stenciling, um, but makeup sponges is a little bit too small. Um, you probably wouldn't cover much more space than you would with like a paintbrush. Uh, one of my friends, Miss Debbie Poole. Oh, that's the last piece. She does. Um, she gets a car sponge. Like the sponges from Walmart out the car section where you would use to wash your vehicle, and she cuts it, and she uses those, and it really makes really good coverage as well. I know I joined the group. Is that also the inside scoop? I think it was a 37. I'm just confused. Help. Yes, Miss Patricia, and I'm pretty sure you're in the inside scoop. In the inside scoop, that is where the accountability groups are at. So if you do want to be part of the accountability groups, as long as you're an active member each month, you can be in those accountability groups right on. <coughs> I've been doing alterations on bridesmaid dresses and getting other wedding stuff done for this weekend. So hopefully I can join soon. Well, yay, Regina. Um, hey, Brandy. Hey, Melissa. Uh, thank you so much, Brandy, for sprinkling. That's a good idea. I could draw it on the wood. What type of wood would be best to cut for a, a beginner? Uh, for a beginner, I would definitely probably just go with like the tripla. And um, if you don't have tripla in your area, I get it from Home Depot. You can do the Revolution plywood. They are the four four by eight sheets, and they're only $13 to $15. Um, just because for a beginner, you don't want to go out there and spend something, you know, get a piece of wood that's expensive, and you mess up, you know, mess it up and stuff. So that's what I would start with. What do I have to do after I sign up and pay? Anna, what you would do is you will ask to join the Facebook group for the inside scoop. That sounds so funny. Y'all had to do that. Thank you, Melissa. Girl, thank you, thank you, thank you. And once you send a request, when you send your request, now this is very important, y'all, and so many people forget to do this. When you send your request to join the group, 
there's a little section when you say join then it pops up and you have like three questions to answer it is very important to answer those questions y'all because it helps me be able to um, match your name up with your PayPal so I know you pay to be in the group and I can get you in the group faster so and when you don't answer the questions you may sit there with your request via pending for a couple of days or until I actually like message you and you get back to me. So um, to speed that process up, as long as you do that, you will be added in the group tonight or by tomorrow. But if you do it tonight, I will make sure probably that I get you, I get you in the group tonight. Do you sell that template? Miss Teresa, I do not. Um, not right now, I don't. I haven't created um, an actual template to, to sell yet. But I may, I might can do one and get it up on the website soon. But just right now, I'm so busy, y'all. Um, but I will, I will do my best, I promise. Thank you, Miss Teresa. That's my problem. Yeah, I will do my very best to get you in the group tonight. You know, these are taking a good bit of paint. One thing about paint with this sponge is it really gets it smooth, but it don't cake your paint on there. So you probably will have to do like three or four coats. But with me, y'all, my whole thing is I love smooth paint. I love a smooth surface. I love... Um, just the, the neatness of it. And I used to paint with the sponge a lot. I had, I even used to put, like when I painted my pumpkins, I would actually do like some shading and stuff or blending with the sponge. I really would. Can we just order the scales? And Miss Beverly, I will, try to get a template or this actual skeleton, um, no ma'am. This one, this might will be, which I could ship them and not have them actually put together and send the screws and let y'all just screw them, like put the, the bolts or the nuts or whatever you call them in there. I'm running out of space. And y'all put them together. But that would be the only way that I would be able to ship these because they are pretty long. Are you going to add some clear glow, clear glow paint to it? I uh, know, Miss, um, no, Jamie. But you know what? That's a pretty cool idea. Pretty cool idea, though. Uh, Miss Sandy, this is the tri-ply quarter inch um, from Home Depot. If you don't have a Home Depot and you have a Lowe's, it's similar to the Revolution plywood. You would order one, Miss Beverly. I think these are gonna to have to have at least one more coat, y'all. Just because I like, I do not like none of my wood showing at all through my paint. I like it to be really good and covered, like good coverage and just really good. Yeah, there's a lot of little pieces. 
did not realize that. All right, we got the head. Get off of there. I'm gonna have white paint everywhere on everything. Thank you so much, Regina, for sprinkling. I appreciate that so much, y'all. Y'all sprinkle the video for me so all of your friends and family can can discover Trinaculic designs. Three coats. Yep. This is the um. Well, this is the second coat. And I'm probably going to go and do one more coat. It depends on how it's going to look when it's dried. Depends on how it looks when it's dried. You don't ever, ever want to judge your coats until they're completely dried. Because they're going to look different once it's dried most of the time. Look at there. I got so much paint on my hands that come off on my... I don't know. Y'all might not do another coat. You know what I think I might do? I think I'm going to add some gray. But look at, I've got some paint cake up, y'all. Remind me of my olden days of doing door hangers. Lord knows, I couldn't tell you how many times I've had to, like, peel off layers of green paint off of my fingers from painting so many Grinch hands. Lord have mercy, y'all. I have painted so many Grinch hands till I, I don't even think I would own a Grinch hand on my own door. I didn't want to see another Grinch hand. The last year that I took orders for Grinch hands, I was, I was done. I was done. Talking about burnt out, Lord, I was burnt out. All right, let's grab some gray, y'all. Let's see. I don't want it too dark. Let's let's get the granite gray. We're gonna kind of mingle some granite gray in there, y'all. Hey Casey, how's my sweet um Lily Ann doing? That's gonna be real cute. I might need one. Is she asleep? I don't know, because that second coat is pretty good, y'all. Pretty good. What white paint are you using? That is the Color Place Exterior Satin. If I've missed your questions, y'all, I'm so sorry. I will go back after I get off and go through it and try to answer. All right, so I'm going to take this gray... And I'm just going to kind of streak it up, y'all, with the same sponge that has the white. And the reason I'm doing that, because like this up here at the top, kind of looks a little too dark. So, use the gray on this side of the sponge. So, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use the side that don't have the gray on there. And kind of just mingle that white back on top of that gray just to kind of tone it down a little bit she's doing good she's been fussy today don't think she's felt the best but better day tomorrow hopefully oh she wants her me ma that's what it is Casey she wants her me ma <laughs> well I hope she's feeling better Lord I hope she's not getting colicky All right, I'm going to show you just a second what I got going on here. Can y'all see that? See how that gray's kind of mingled in? Makes it look like a rib cage. All right. But we're going to do it to all of them. It might, be easy, might have been easier just to use some house wall paint, the wall paint sticker. Uh, this was the house paint. It was the Color Place house paint, the exterior in satin. All right, I'm going to grab up a little bit of gray. They are, they are. I'm trying to see which way I want to hold it so I can kind of get it right. And we are getting a house full of them, y'all. We've got two girls right now. One's 
two once um two weeks almost or she's two weeks today today no today's what's today tuesday or wednesday should be two weeks tomorrow right casey um and then we got one that's due at the end of september and it's a girl i said poor eli's gonna be so outnumbered <laughs> He's going to have little girls all over the place with no little boys. I'm trying to do this like really simple, y'all. Can y'all see? kind of see the streaks in that? And I'm going to do that to all my little pieces. All right, so this kind of needs to go this way. We need to kind of put the streaks this way. So we're gonna just kind of come and put some gray streaks this way. I said, I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. I do like that touch of gray in the white. That does make it look more realistic. Oh, yay, Jamie. Awesome. That's what I'm trying to go for, so I'm glad that you think that. I was about to wonder when I first started, like, oh, Lord, did I mess up. Okay. It is very light. I'm not doing it heavy at all, y'all. All right, let's get the little foot. That helps Zoe. She has been outnumbered. Yeah. Yeah. If we can just get her to act more like a little girl, though, Katina. Okay, so the leg, we're going to pull this. We're going to pull some down. And then we're going to kind of like sway it this way. Okay. Now we're going to take that white and kind of just mingle it in, just blend it in. Like so. I have five boys and two girls, and I had four daughters. Ooh. Miss Anna, you had a house full then. See, that's what I, I like that, y'all. I like, like when we have Christmas, and I love a big family. Because my side of the family, like, we didn't... I had a brother and I had a sister. And it just, I don't know, it just felt kind of small. And though, you know, we've got four, we've got four kids all together ourselves. But once all them kids start having grandbabies, we're going to have a house full. And I love that. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Let's see that piece is done. We got this piece over here. I'm going to kind of just And y'all, I'm sorry it's so late. Eli plays travel ball. And he had practice tonight. And I'm glad he did because they brought to my attention that they are testing tomorrow. I thought they was only testing for one day. Uh-uh. They got testing for two days this week. So he's got to go tomorrow. And then Zoe's got to go back Thursday. If they wouldn't have said something at the ball field, y'all, they wouldn't have been there. Because I sure did not pay that no attention. And I was like, that wasn't on the paper. Or it's not on the calendar. It's got they started on the 8th. It's on the paper, y'all. It is right there on the paper. And I was thinking, Lord knows, Trina. I don't know about myself sometimes, y'all, when it comes to the paying things attention. All right, we got one more little foot left and leg. We're going to add the gray. <coughs> um, I have a son and a daughter, and my son's already got a boy of his own. My first grandson... Um, he's a cutie pie. I bet he, I bet he is. 
They are so sweet to y'all. I bet he is, Jamie. Katina. I have one child and he passed, ooh, away six years ago. And he didn't have any children. So I'm so alone. Oh, Miss Kathy, I'm so sorry to hear that. I got you, girl. I know, right, Jennifer? And it was on the paper. It's on that paper. Sure is. Oh, Miss Teresa, they say the testing is so the teachers can kind of see where the students are at, being that they um were out of school for, what, two months, y'all? Two months, three months? And they just kind of want to kind of figure out where they need to start this year at with teaching-wise. Um, it doesn't determine, like, if they pass their grade or nothing. It just wants to, it, it, uh, it will allow the teachers to know, you know, where they need to start in their classroom with their students. Um, I had just gotten home. You started a good time, you started at a good time for me. Well, that's great, Miss Jerry. I'm glad that you're here. Hello, what you making tonight? Miss Deborah? I'm trying to make a skeleton. And it's going to be a whole skeleton and I want it to move um, but I won't be doing that part tonight yeah Miss Deborah it's a test where they're just kind of seeing what they know almost like seeing if being out of school and doing that virtual learning the last couple months um, has made them like feel behind so it's going to let the teachers know kind of like where they need to start the school year at it's actually, I mean, I think it's a, a great idea. I think it's really good that they're doing it. I just didn't know they were doing it for two days, which is fine because guess what? They're doing it for two days this week. It's going to get my booty up and out the bed a lot earlier. So that's, that's a good thing. We did that here at our district. It was an, an amazing eye-opener. That's what I'm thinking too, Miss Deborah. Uh, I don't think they did that here, but it, yeah, I, I I think it is too. But it's only English and math is what Miss Katina said. Well, that's the main subject anyway. So we are doing. I'm trying to get this paint off my hands, y'all. We are doing reading one day and math another. That's what they're doing, Miss Deborah. Let me get my my Mountain Dew. Y'all, I was in my Marco Polo. Let me tell y'all what one of my ladies in my group did to me today. Can't believe she done this to me, but she did. I was trying to be nice and show them how to drill these little holes in here. And she decided she was going to take a screenshot of when my camera or my phone lost connection and made my Marco Polo freeze up. And when it did, it froze me up with my mouth open and my tongue, like, trying to grab my straw to sip it. And she posted it in the group for everybody to see. So, Miss Dawn, I don't see you on here, but if you watch this replay, if I could find a way to get you back, I totally would. <laughs> I use baby wipes to wipe the paint off my hands when I paint a painting on a canvas. I would be, oh, baby wipes are amazing, Jamie. I would have to do some really wiping. I'm kind of almost doing like peeling because it's so thick on my hands. I have to be honest, most kids are behind one or two months, but that's to be expected. We are six weeks in and kids are just now getting the routine and starting to speed up. Which, I, my y'all, my kids are probably behind because, um, I just, I can teach door hangers, I can teach you about wood, I can teach you about jigsaws and what blades to use, I can teach you all that good stuff, but school, no, 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 okay, so let's move on, um, So for you people that's like wondering how in the world they get those designs in, um, because not everybody can draw. There's things I cannot draw, y'all. I'm not, mm -mm, nope. 
Hey, Miss Sharon. I'm good, and how are you? I am. I am, Miss Rosemary. I am making a skeleton. Um, so the trick is, is when you have a template for a door hanger, the way you use these templates are, and some of you may know this because if you've watched me for a while, you, you've seen me do this. Um, you can get you some graphite paper or carbon paper. Um, and what you do is you put it onto your door hanger. Carbon paper has a matte looking side and a glossy side. You want to make sure that your glossy side, don't you are on here. Ha! I, I got, I'm a, if I could figure a way to get you back, something's going to happen one day. Something's going to come up. Anyway, y'all, you put the glossy part on the bottom, um, facing down onto your wood. Then what you do is you take your template and you want to line it up on your wood. And I know this is um, probably a little bit boring to those that's, that knows what a template is. But y'all, there's people out there that really never done door hangers. That's never heard of a door hanger. So, trying to look out for those people. All right, so now what you do is you grab you a pen, pencil, whatever you want, and then you're going to trace on top of your actual um, design. You want to make sure that you got your got your head straight so you won't have some wonky looking eyes. And then you just trace around your design on the outside, I mean on the inside. And what this is going to do is it's going to put a outline of your template onto your wood. And then you're going to be able to kind of like paint by numbers. And I'm just kind of roughly doing it. We're going to put an eyebrow there and an eyebrow there. Need a drink? A white Russian right now, Miss Stone? Sounds pretty darn good. You know what? I don't think I want a straight mouth. I think I want to, I think I'm going to do like a, a wiggly mouth, y'all. Just because, I don't know, just because I think I'm going to like a wiggly mouth. Okay, so you can go ahead and just do all of your little outlines. I'm not going to do that circle there, y'all. That circle was just kind of there to kind of put your other piece there, and it's going to be covered anyway. So this is where you will see the magic happen by using graphite paper. You remove your graphite paper, and then your design is traced on to your door hanger. So now all you got to do is just paint around your lines. With a straw, yes, ma'am, with a straw. <laughs> you got that right, girl. I don't hardly drink anything without a straw. Uh-uh, no ma'am. Nope, nope, nope. Gotta have a straw. Alright, let's go ahead and get the ribs and stuff going on. But y'all, how neat is this? Isn't that so neat? It is so neat. Alright, so we're going to put that there. And then we're going to add another piece. These do come in a bigger sheet too. Um, like this one right here. This is an 18 by 24, and this is actually a white one. I'm just not crazy over the white one. But um, they do have the gray and the black, and I get these from Hobby Lobby, and this one's like $3.99. Uh, what size did you use in block poster? Jennifer, you know what? I actually, I don't remember. Because uh, this was just, this was something I, I really did rushing this morning. But I'm trying to save my other little piece that kind of tells me what size it was. If I brought that upstairs, but I think it's downstairs. Um, but I can definitely let you know. But it took 22 sheets of paper. 22 sheets. A uh, strange, I didn't hit the heart button and it showed I did. Facebook is definitely crazy, Natalie. Yeah. Where can I get the template? Darlene, I'm going to try um to make one for it but it will be in the inside scoop you're one of my insiders so it will be in there for y'all yes ma'am okay 
So we're trying to get this lined up really good. And now we're going to grab our pencil. Um, I don't know how crazy I am over the shapes, the shape of these ribs. Um, I think I'm going to kind of sway these a little bit more and kind of like do them, I want to kind of be spooky in a way y'all, so I'm going to kind of like, and don't tell me that they're not shaped like this, but because I, it don't matter, I want them to kind of be wiggly. I mean, that's the fun part about making door hangers is you can make it funny make it realistic just do it however you want to do it and it's totally fine if things aren't exactly the way they are in real life okay so we're going to bring a little rib cage up there and there then we have these um we're going to like bring this here bring that here I'm going to bring that up, bring that up, and I guess we're going to draw, I'm not even going to say that I don't know what these are, because y'all might like start picking on me, but I don't know what those are. I haven't been able to get the August templates yet. Miss Darling, that's so strange. Um. Have you checked in the units? Because they're in the units. Oh, well, the August unit has been already gone. So what I can do, Miss Darlene, is I will get Christine to send them to you or add them in your account in Think Ethic, and that course will be available to you in there. Hey, Miss Sheila from Tennessee. Those are the hip sockets. Miss Deborah said. I sure didn't know what they was. Okay, the hand. Okay, let's do. We're gonna kind of just roll with just one one sheet here. Katina, you better be off in here because if you're not, I know you're laughing at me. We're going to draw this on here like this. I was going to paint this piece solid black. But y'all, I think I'm going to go the easy route just because it's kind of late. I'm going to do these kind of swirly too. I'm not going to make them straight. Um, Do we not have one, two, three, one, two? See, now that, we're missing a little thing, so I'm going to add another one. I'm going to add another one of these little swirly lines, like about right here. Because we got a little knuckle thing there, too. So I'm adding that. Well, it's kind of crazy right now, y'all. Oh, now I see. I didn't know why the arms were so wide. Trace. Hello, um, Miss Norma from Missouri. I could actually say Missouri. You should make small ones, mini ones for um, tear trays. Hmm. I want Katina, you ain't even funny. Get off my live. It's past your bedtime. Past your bedtime. Go to bed. Carly got school tomorrow, ain't she? Go to bed, girlfriend. You ain't seeing no picture. Where's my other hand? Here we go. Here we go. All right. So we're going to do that hand. You're going to line it up. No, you won't, Miss Dawn. Dawn, you better not. 
That woman who goes to the ball field, she be showing everybody. See, I thought I thought we were I thought I thought you liked me. I really thought you thought something of me. I see how you are now. Cause you don't know that woman. Katina will you don't know that woman. She will have it probably on every social media there is. She'll have it up on Snapchat. She'll probably create a YouTube channel just for it. Just to add it on there. Don't you send that woman that picture. Oh, did I do my thumb? I did do my thumb. Okay. We got our body, our head, our arms. Now we're going to do our legs. You could have made a mummy out of that. That would have been cute. I'm thinking Dawn can make... Who said that? Uh, Y'all, Jennifer, Jennifer, no. Don't be giving that woman no crazy ideas because she's going to roll with it. You could have made it. Yeah, I could, Miss Norman. That would have been really, really cute. I thought you would cut that spot between the arms. I would have, Miss Jerry, and then I was like, mm, nope. You would blow it up and post it. See there, that's what I'm saying. See, Miss Dawn, that's the kind of person she is. See, and you want to... I see it. I understand now. I know. See how y'all are. I don't think I need to trace that, y'all. There's nothing there. So we're not going to trace this one. We're not going to trace this one. Y'all ain't funny. I am no longer laughing. No longer having fun with y'all. Okay, so let's put these down there because we don't need those. And these don't have any kind of things going on. Now we just need to do the little legs. May I ask what photo y'all are? Miss Deborah, Miss Deborah. I was being so nice and helpful today for my inside scoop ladies. And I was in a little app that we use called Marco Polo. Again, I was being nice and sweet and was going to share with them how I was using my drill to put my holes in this and how I was lining them up. My phone obviously lost connection. And one of my ladies named Dawn took a screenshot of, my, of the picture that froze while I was in Marco Polo. And I always have my Mountain Dew. And it was about to roast out there. So I'm sweating anyway. Like sweating like crazy. But I'm still going to do this for these ladies. Because they just. They mean the world to me. And she just. Stabbed me in the back. Took that photo. Posted it. Posted it. Then just taking a message to me. And saying Trina look at this. Ha ha ha. You look so funny. She posted it in the group for all of my other ladies to have fun with and laugh at me about. I had my mouth open. My tongue looked like I was trying to do something to my straw. It, it was not a good picture. Not a good picture at all. And now she wants to give it to somebody who would probably blow that sucker up and hang it up at the ball field. I don't trust that lady. And y'all, I'm really having fun with y'all tonight. I think I'm tired. Okay, so we have everything traced on here and now y'all, we're just going to add black. We're gonna add black and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it the easy way. I'm not cheating, I'm just working smarter. I know Miss Deborah. uh-huh. See, got you laughing at me now. I'm going to use my Posca pen. Thank you, Miss Katie. I don't know you, but now I want to see the <laughs> No. Dear Lord. You know I wouldn't do that. I love messing with you. Yes, you would, Katina. You totally would. You totally would. See, now she's, now she's trying to cover herself up. I know, Miss Patricia. That's why I said something's going to come up, and I'm, I'm going to get her back. I'm so going to get her back. 
hard to find good friends like that. Good friends wouldn't do that. She would totally do it too. I'm telling you, she would do it. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Posca pen and I'm going to go over all of my little black markings here. Um, I think I'm going to like do an outline like around all of my little bones, all of my little body parts. I may even do like maybe some little dot dots, kind of give it a whimsy kind of feel like that. Just like that, y'all. Easy peasy, simple. Okay, so we're just, this didn't have anything, but we are gonna comb. And we're just gonna do a cute little outline. We're gonna put some little dot dots. Dots dot. Just like that. I'm gonna put a dot here so I don't be all the same. Did that one. What are you using to attach all the pieces? Miss Deborah, I've got to find what I'm gonna use, but I think I'm gonna find some kind of bolts or screws. Um, some kind of nuts that I can use. Did I put dots? Yeah. Because I want to be able to like move it. And I think I can like position it how I want it and then tighten the bolt or the nuts so it'll stay where I put it. So I've got to find exactly what's gonna work for this. But when I do figure out and find what will work with this, I would definitely share it with y'all. But this is definitely something easy, y'all, that y'all, anybody could do. And I am going to add glitter all over these black lines. so it don't be quite as plain. Love the idea, Lowe's here. Here she comes, like oh, you'll be taking your leg. I sure will, Miss Deborah. I probably will. Like I got these right here and I've got to have them attached. What do I need? That line got crooked. Ooh, we're coming to the fun part now. We're gonna get the little hands. Maybe a wig, but that will let it move or stay still. What size are the holes? How thick is the wood? The wood is a quarter inch, and I'll have to look, Miss Jerry, I used um, goodness. I don't remember what that thing is that I used, Miss Jerry. I have to look, and I will share it with you. It was a little um, a little thing. I don't know what it's called. And you put it on the end of end of your drill.
Dun, dun, dun. It's a skeleton hand. Drill bit. Um, well, it's not, no, it's not a drill bit. A wing nut, Miss Terry. Darn Facebook, I know how to spell. Um, no, it's not a drill bit. It's, it's something else. I love to go to my Lowe's and throw the guys off. They, they look at me like you're crazy. <laughs> Is she live now? Yes, Miss Ruby, I am live right now. It looked like a round burbit. That might be what it's called, Miss Dawn. But I, it came, we got a whole set of different sizes. I just, I really don't remember what they're called. really cute if you really wanted to make it more detailed and like instead of doing the black outline like do some shading and blending and stuff with the gray like a darker gray maybe that would be cute oh I just went off of there come on Trina get it together that is so crooked y'all This paint pen must be about to run out on me. Don't know how I found you, but this is interesting. Well, yay, Rita. I'm glad that you did find me. I'm normally not like this. Just tonight, I've got some people that's out to get me for some reason. Some stalkers. That's what they are, some stalkers. You don't know how you found me either. Well, I'm glad that y'all are here. So glad. Skeletons aren't perfect. There we go. Glow in the dark paint will be so, so good. I don't got no glow in the dark paint. I do. Yes, I do. But it's yellow, y'all. It's yellow glow in the dark paint. Don't want a yellow skeleton. But it would definitely been, would have been cute. All right, so here we go. We're going to trace this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do this little demoflashy right here. We're going to like do our little ribs, kind of wiggly. Yeah, my pen's dying on me, y'all. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I shared it on some. It's past your bedtime, too, Miss Dawn. You better go to bed. I'm going to do dot dots here, too. What size boards hold up your paints? Uh, those are one by twos, and they were already painted at Lowe's or Home Depot one. Lowe's has clear glow in the dark. Dark spray? Really? That really would be cool, y'all. I mean, it really would be. Darn it. I got there, and I need to get in here. Are we getting on a mark of polo later? I don't know why. You want to take another screenshot of me? But I can show hop on there.
Okay. So there's that. Maybe. I ain't getting on Marco Polo. Done with Marco Polo. <coughs> Thank you, Miss Regina. Amanda, that was funny. <laughs> no, she ain't. She is not funny at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a bigger paint pen to kind of fill in those eyes, y'all. Because if not, it's gonna take a lot with this little old paint pen. Okay, hey, Miss Jackie, no, you're not. I can't wait to make this. Yay, Miss Dawn, I can't wait to see yours. And I can't believe I'm going to tell you this because yours is going to be amazing. Because your shading is like just out of this world. I love it, love it, love it. Um, when you log into Marco Polo, does someone have to say Marco and the other person have to say Polo? <laughs> that would be so cool though. I would totally play that game if it did. So, anybody thinking about joining the Inside Scoop, we have fun. You will love it. Oh, Miss Dawn, see there? Now you're trying to be sweet. Now you're trying to be sweet. So, I'm going to grab this, this big one. And I'm going to go in for the kill, y'all, to get the eyes. You can totally use a paintbrush to do all of this, y'all. I'm just kind of being lazy tonight, and I'm just doing the easiest thing. Mm. And plus, it's mine. If I was doing it as an order, I would definitely be taking like more time with this, y'all. Dun, dun, dun. Y'all, it's looking pretty darn good. Work smarter, not harder. That is correct, Miss Deborah. What brand of paint pens do you find to be the best? Miss Jackie. I used to always use the painter's paint pens from Walmart. I do think that they are great. But, and I can't believe I was saying this because I have been tripping over these Posca pens for a little while now because um, they're not like super, super amazing the way that I wanted them to be. Um, because I have had these things crack and stuff on me. But they do go on like the tip of it is smoother writing than the painter's pen from Walmart. So there's that. Um, but I do recommend the Posca pens or the painter's pens from Walmart. Either one of them, either one of them I think is really good. I'm gonna give it a good little, my neck and back would kill me. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it on my back a lot. All right, so I'm gonna get silver, y'all. We're gonna use Silver um, glitter glue, just because I don't got black. I would like to have black. I've got black. I got black. I got black glitter here. 
I can go over with the eyes with this. Ha 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 ha. Sure can. You're so welcome. Thank you, Miss Grace. See, just shows you girls can put up. Exactly. Oh, dear Lord. I don't know if we're going to be using this glitter or not. I'm going to dig up in there and get what I can, though. I'm going to go over with this glitter glue on the eyes. And of course, I'm going to pick a paintbrush that won't even fit in the box, the bottle. Here we go. So I'm going over his eyes. With glitter and that is like really thick y'all but it's okay it's okay Katina's being really quiet on here she must have went to bed and where's Miss Taylor at she had a cake up on her snapchat stories and she says she will bring me some, and I ain't seen her yet. She must be planning on taking it to the ball field tomorrow for me. It's the only thing I can think of. Alright, there's the glitter in the eyes. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, look at there. I ain't that lucky. I'll be doggone. I don't care what time it is. I love watching you any anytime, sweetie. Oh, thank you so much. Miss Tina, you're so sweet. Well, I'm glad that you do because sometimes I have to wonder, y'all. I haven't been able to find the link to purchase the sunflower you painted the other day. Could you post it or send it to me? Miss Jackie, send me a private message, honey, and I will um, get it because I'm, I will be honest, I will probably forget. So send me a message and I'll send you a link to it. Uh, so sorry to hear that, girl. Well, it can get better. Oh, what about Amanda? I didn't see what Amanda said. Grace, what did Amanda say? Oh, my goodness, I must have missed the... I don't see. Oh, I pinched a nerve in my back on Saturday, and I'm sick of my bed. Oh, Miss Amanda. No, you didn't, girl. Yeah, definitely get some rest. No, I sent her the pics that she's getting it ready for tomorrow. Ah, uh, ha, ha. You're so funny, Miss Dawn. It, I'm telling you, it's past your bedtime, too. See how the... See? Oh, that would be funny. That's all right, though. I'm telling you. See, I'm going to be all swept. Like, Miss Dawn, you got to go live. You got to grow that business. Live's the only way you're going to do it. And then I'm going to catch you live one day. See there? All right, y'all. We're doing the silver glitter on top of are black. Yep, I'm going to have you convinced to push that live button. Ooh. To push that live button. What size was the sunflower? Miss Susan, mine was a 24 inch. I like using the Walmart glitter glue tubes. They look like pins. I've, I think I've got some of those. I think I do. Wait a minute now, I'll show you. You can tell me if that's what you got. Like these little suckers? Is that what you're talking about? This is actually about Elmer's. Okay, so y'all see how that is? 
Oh, that's looking with the glitter on there. Can y'all see the glitter? I'm scared to death to go live. Miss Jackie, girl, if I can get on here and go live, I'm losing. Oh, no, anybody can. And the thing is, if you've got a business, y'all, it's almost like it's a must to really get your business going. And it is scary. Because Lord knows y'all, I'm a hot mess every time I come on here. I don't ever know what I don't ever know myself what's gonna happen and what I'm gonna do. And on top of that, I really am like a clumsy person, y'all. And there's times I'm scared to death I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna trip over my own foot and knock my whole setup down and knock on wood. Nothing like that's happened so far, and I've been doing lives for over two years now. So, but yeah, Lord have mercy. Oh, I think I need to do some black hair. I think I do, I think I do, I think I do. They're in the kids' craft area, and they come in a package of six or two of each color. You too, Trina. I mean, you too, Miss Grace. Not going to do it. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You might not do it right now, but you're going to do it. You're going to do it one day. And I'm going to get you back. I'm going to get you back. I shall do No, see, I'm talking all that. I'm... I'm so sweet. I would not do that to you, Miss. Oh, I should have put the glitter there. I would not do that to you, Miss Dawn. But you know what? In all honesty, though, after you did that, you post that, it made me laugh. It made me feel good. Because it made me it made me like realize that you were comfortable with me to do that. So y'all do see some of my graphite lines I didn't stay on track. So what I will do is I will take my um eraser and I'll go over that. So for you, those of y'all that didn't see my live today, I tried to, oh my goodness, pull this up so you can kind of see it without me touching my glue. The thing about this glitter glue, y'all, is it takes a while to dry. So this is it so far. And then we have the little legs. So you see, like, just imagine, like, here's, like, this is already as tall as me, and we still got to add the legs and stuff to here. Got that glue glue on me. Hey, Miss Gina. Hey, Miss Wanda. I sent you a temp. Oh, whoa. Uh, I sent you a template, Trina. I've been tracing the skeleton while you're painting. No, you ain't, Miss Natalie. That woman, you don't do anything that surprises me anymore. You are just. Miss Natalie, y'all, is one of my insiders. She's like the real. Oh, gee, that wouldn't take screenshots of me and would share it. She loves me too much. But she is so stinking creative. Which, so is Miss Dawn. Um, she has, like, cr like, ooh, figured out, like, procreate, and Lord knows, some of the designs that she's created is just Mind blowing. I just totally went off that. I cannot tell her how proud I am of her. She's another one that I'm going to see going live one day.
She's another one that I would love to see her do this because she is the bomb diggity bomb when it comes to um, making something look oh, like rusty and distressed. She rocks that, that out like crazy. So yeah, y'all, if, I'll seriously, one minute. Not gonna lie, if I hadn't had a phone malfunction, I would have screenshotted it. She hit the wrong button. Girl, you painting late, I need motivation. Miss Gina. Um, I started pumpkins and need to finish them, Lordy help. Miss Gina, I feel you, girl, because I've, I've had several days like that. Probably going to have a day like that tomorrow to where I'm not going to do anything, any kind of painting. Um, take Eli to get his second day of testing done. And come back home. I would love to come back home and get in the bed tomorrow and sleep till about 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock would be nice. I'm out of wood at the moment. You out of wood, Miss Natalie? And yeah, y'all, me and Miss Dawn, Katina, um, Natalie, we're, we're all just playing around, y'all. Y'all don't think we're just being mean to each other. They're not trolls, although Miss Dawn kind of acts, and Katina, they act like trolls. They're not trolls. They're actually... Um, people, I kind of think a whole lot of. Alright, y'all, we're about done. I better run my mouth. I should have been done with this thing. I'm getting low and getting sloppy. Getting low and getting sloppy. All right, we got little hands to do. Then one more piece and we will be done. Taylor says she is bringing your piece of cake to the field tomorrow. Oh, yay. Good. I'm going to have to hide it from everybody then. I'll hide that supper too. Don't tell nobody you're bringing it to me. Besides the people here on Facebook. Because then they'd be wanting a piece. When I get home. They want to know where it's at. And if they don't know I got it, then I can keep it here and they ain't got to worry about sharing it. Yeah, y'all, this is a design that you can do so many details to if you wanted to. Look at that hand. Can y'all see the glitter when I show it to y'all? Yes. I need a pumpkin to do. Any suggestions? What can I get? Where can I get one? Miss Patricia, you can get one from Home Creations. They have um, different pumpkins on their site. But you can also cut you a pumpkin. A pumpkin would be something, um, especially like if you're a beginner, a pumpkin is a really good design for beginners. So, I will challenge you to cut you out a pumpkin if you got any wood. Oh, I got sloppy there too. Thank goodness this is mine. If this one wouldn't mind, I will be wiping off some glitter. Because I'm getting low. Anytime you get low with this glitter glue, y'all, it like comes out like that. And it will just shoot out a glob. 
But I'm not switching. I got another bottle over there, but I'm about done. Yep, I got one more little piece right here, and I'm done. Dollar Tree Store, you can make pumpkins from that. Jamie, great idea. You sure can. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Oh, you say Taylor. Wait a minute, let me move my mouse. I'm only sharing you. Yes. Only share that sucker with me. Don't tell nobody else. We got some little pigs in this house. Come on, one more little line. Ta-da! We're done, y'all. We're done. So yeah, Miss Patricia, you can actually get it from get like little wooden cutouts from Dollar Tree too, or Hobby Lobby. They probably got some too, or Michaels. All right, so ladies, that's it. I will share y'all share a picture with y'all. This is a shoulder, y'all. And then this is going to be, this is kind of hard because that glitter is still like very wet. So that's going to be like one, one arm. See how long that arm is? But I want to use screws so I can kind of move it around. Kind of have them maybe like up or something. Um, so as soon as I find the screws and I actually get it together, I'll definitely share it with y'all so y'all can see the actual finished um, skeleton. Yeah, he's already talking about eating it. Oh, nope. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Gotta keep it a secret. Don't let nobody know that I'm getting any. And that's his leg. And his foot. And trust me, it will be gone. It will be gone. If anybody else in this house knows, it will be gone. Zoe would probably hide it for me, even though it would be my cake. She would probably hide it for me. She's real good about hiding things. All right, so ladies, I'm going to hop off of here. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed just chit-chatting with me tonight. Tonight is the last night, y'all, to join the Inside Scoop for the month of September. I would absolutely love to have you. And come and join us, crazy, silly ladies. Um, we will welcome you with warm hearts. And just be a part of us and see if you like it. And if you don't, you're not obligated to stay. You can cancel anytime you get ready to get out, but you're going to get in there and you're going to fall in love with door hangers. Even if you don't stay in the group, you will probably continue creating door hangers because they're, they're very addicting, especially when you can start making money from it. It's very addicting. So I would love to have you, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Again, you get two templates per month, two tutorials of me showing you step-by-step -step bird's eye view on how to paint those templates. Um, we do a craft each month. We have Zoom calls. We have 10 of 10 to where you ask questions. You've got business trainings in the group available to you when you join. Uh, what else? We have accountability groups and the community, y'all. If you don't join for nothing else because you've been painting for 20 years and you've been doing door hangers for 10 years and you know all the things, just come to be part of a community of ladies that is just amazing. That's just simply all I can say, and that's what I say all the time. They're just amazing. It's $37 a month, $370 for a year, and you get two, two months free if you sign up for the whole year. Could you send me where you get your wood cutouts? Yes, ma'am. Well, Miss Debbie, send me, a, send me a message so I won't forget. Uh, I answered the three questions for the Inside Scoop group. Let me know if I get, I will put, get you in there, Miss um, Patricia, as soon as I get off of here. So, um, go join. I will see y'all later, and hopefully I will see you in the scoop. All right, good night, Miss Dawn and Natalie and Katina and Taylor.